Brooklyn, New York. Me and the guys, we all grew up here. Let me introduce you to three of the different crews. I know I'd go from rags to riches. The first crew is my friend Frankie Newts. He and his crew run the Bensonhurst area. Now, the second crew was set up by Sal the Barber, a protege of Frankie's, who spent a little time upstate, but now he runs his own demolition business. Now, in the third crew, you got Mimo and Dino. Now, these boys may not bring in the most cash, but they definitely have the best time in the business. You know, you might be asking yourself, what kind of work are these guys in? Well, I'll tell you, they're scrappers. Do you believe he's trying to say this is garbage? Briss? Or Briss. That guy wants to cash it in himself. Fuck that. Pots and pans, baby. Scrappers are the guys that make your trash their cash. We all can't be doctors and lawyers. The world needs ditch diggers, too. Every year, the U.S. exports about 10 billion bucks worth of scrap metal. And these boys are on the front line. Yeah, we got hold the top. Hold the top, Darren! Fucking moron, man. Some would say they do a lot of good for the world. Oops. Shoot, don't inhale that. They're recycling and garbage removal pioneers. Yeah, it's not, this is a fire extinguisher. Holy shit, I don't know there's that much in there. Come on, let's get out of here before Robert sees us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there might be three hot girls in a nice car, and I'm sitting here like I gotta go and pick out these things out of the garbage, but what am I gonna do? This is my life, this is my business. I can't be ashamed of myself. I'm a good looking kid, but sometimes you gotta look like crazy maniac, picking things out of the trash to get money. This thing smells like shit. Yeah, it does. That's right. For these guys, it's all about the green. Total was about 186. Recycling got done, work got done, and in this economy right now, anything is good. All of it's metal and all of it's money. My goal is to make a certain amount of day. Everything works out, usually. I mean, I don't usually have bad days. Whoa. <laughs> Fucking door won't shut right. Let me tell you a little bit more about Frankie Newts and his pal Darren. <laughs> I got such an itch up there. I think a hair is going from here all the way up and going like this up here. <laughs> Frankie's a third generation scrapper and knows all the nuts and bolts of the business. Regular people don't have the extent of knowledge of metal that he does. It's a good thing Frankie knows everything about scrap because his right hand man don't know nothing about anything. Oh, that didn't work. You want to think about girls all the time. No, look at him. Nice look at him. You look like you're ready to cry every five minutes. No, 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 no. No, right? Why don't you call right now, see if she answers. Yeah, you mind? <laughs> These are controlled by the girl. I don't even know how to explain it. Frankie is also known for his um, anger management issues. Darren's throwing out pieces wow. of my van, too, you know? We're at the bottom. What the fuck's wrong? What are you guys supposed to do? I thought it was a fucking idiot. Shut your mouth. I gotta go outside for a second. You're talking, they hear everything. You understand?